running with me? <laughs> running? Yeah. I think they know what that means. In this vlog, I really wanted to share with you some of the really cool creative projects that I've been working on, starting with drawing on these Nozeko bottles. So let me take you back in time to when these bottles arrived. exciting there's loads of like actual physical drawing happening this week which is so funny because that is something I rarely do um when I mean physical I mean like um not digital and so I have been given all of these gorgeous Nozeko bottles and I got a draw on all of them for Nozeko which is very exciting I done a test on some champagne bottles and we originally we thought we'd go with a quote on the bottom but actually um, we both kind of just liked, I think we both kind of preferred it just with really nice illustrations as you can see. I've done, I scraped this off to have the flowers with the way that I draw them and I've done yellow dots here and this was about three layers. Let's get started. Let's do this. like a rustic bread I had some already of it <gasps> there's nothing like the smell of fresh bread I swear to God I um wanted to figure out a way to make make it in the air fry but air fryer is like a way more efficient way for like energy cheaper to run um so I kind of mixed a few recipes together 
there is a fermentation process that where I made a poolish um, but I don't think that's called a starter I might be wrong um, it might be like a very easy way to make a starter I think for Christmas I want to make everyone a loaf of bread so that would be a perfect size for like gifts I think to wrap it up and isn't that just the cutest thing who doesn't love bread like crust is so crispy and it's so good it's so delicious okay I'm gonna pee and get off I need to really get on with my work Voltaire wrote that the English were the only people on earth who'd been able to limit the power of kings by establishing wise government this meant that all over Europe, George I got a reputation as a protector of progressive views. But in Britain, his reputation had taken a knock after the christening quarrel. So I did end up doing three layers. And I'm really glad I did the test because it really gave me a clear indication of how long they were going to take. And they took quite a while, as you can see, this was over uh, actually a couple of weeks. Because it was quite a repetitive exercise, I really enjoyed listening to history podcasts to kind of stimulate my mind in some capacity, because it did feel very repetitive. But that's just a nice opportunity to feel like I can learn something while doing my job which is creative so sometimes jobs can be really challenging but then a job like this was very enjoyable and relaxing I sprayed a layer of lacquer which I got from Harrods on all the bottles using a mask outside to protect myself and then this is the result some are spritz and some are bellinis Definitely give them a try if, as you can get them in most supermarkets. And let me know what you think. The next creative project I want to tell you about is the making of my 2024 calendar. This is the sweater vest that I have started to crochet. So exciting. All I want to do is crochet right now, but got to work. I'm going to start with doing emails, plan a day, and then get going on calendar, post the YouTube video. Let me make a list. What did I just say? Gosh. Because if you don't finish it, you'll never know. And so what is the smallest thing that you could finish in an hour, in okay. two hours? Okay. You know, could you make a unplugged album where you're making a new song every, every week, day for three months, a quarter of a quarter, and then cherry pick the best of those songs and then put it on an album? And so how could you just... finished watching sex education but there is a scene that just got me bawling my eyes out and it really made me think a lot about there can be these times where someone crushes us with their words i feel like i never get too old to need to hear the words stay resilient and keep believing in yourself one of my goals for this calendar i want to sketch in my sketchbook before i create anything digitally i asked my instagram audience on stories what color they thought january was and they said blue when i was trying to make something amazing that was a lot of pressure and i actually ended up crying after i cried i felt so much better like focused on what i was trying to say everything else like came easily i am trying to push myself and my creativity i just have to be kind to myself in the process of it so this is january thank you so much to all the pre-orders and the nice like notes in everyone's pre-order and let me know what you think of this month stay tuned for the next month the biggest challenges i've had with my own self-love journey has been 
self-forgiveness and acceptance of myself so when you voted on my stories what you wanted the vibe for february to be the answer that was voted the highest was the topic of self-love so it got me really thinking about what self-love means to me and to me self-love feels like a freedom and i went through old therapy notes and i found this quote that was accepting of yourself is far more important than the acceptance of others. I thought that went really nicely with this beautiful picturesque scene. Self-love is like a celebration, so I wanted to fill the space with bright, almost firework and sparkles and stars and swirls. This is the month of February. Please let me know what you think. Pre-orders will end at the end of this month. They will include a free print or a free sticker. Pre-orders will end at the end of October. Let me know in the comments what you think the vibe of March should be. And I'll see you in the next one. I had a family member who was incredibly homophobic and very anti-LGBTQ+. There were many conversations, many arguments. There were so many times that I nearly gave up at my book launch. I had members from the LGBTQ plus community. The next time I saw this family member after the event, they ran up to me and they said, thank you so much. They said, thank you for opening my eyes. They're now like a really big champion of LGBTQ plus rights. Even in this dark world where it can feel like I've been feeling a lot of despair in the faith of humanity. And yeah, that's a story that brings me a lot of hope that reminds me never to give up on people no matter how far gone you think they are plant your seeds of hope and never stop watering them every pre-order comes with a free print or free sticker of your choice the pre-orders will be available until the end of october so grab yours quick and you can also be a part of making my calendar if you watch my stories so often i think a new beginning can be incredibly scary change is not something we humans like and it can often create a lot of anxiety. It definitely has for me. It is also a constant. Life will always change. I've been really fascinated at learning about witches. They're really connected to the nature. There's something about birds that really connects me to my own Chilean heritage. A condor is a national symbol of Chile. A seed growing in their hand because april is the time where i always plant my seedlings that's what i wanted to capture for april there's something about the symmetry it feels a little bit magical here is april trust the magic of new beginnings the pre-orders will end when i finish making my calendar every pre-order you can grab a free print or free sticker of your choice that's an offer that will end when the pre-orders end so grab yours quick trigger warning Today I want to share the story of when I got jumped. When I was 12 at school, one moment I was in a crowd of people going to my next class and then the next moment I was on the floor. No one helped me, no one said anything. I got myself up off the floor, realised I should probably go to the nurse's office. And as I walked, that long walk, in pain, teachers looked at me, students looked at me, just kind of stopped and stared. I promised myself then that I would be the person that I wish that I had. I feel like I have kept my promise. This is the artwork for this month. Pre-order the calendar. The pre-orders will end when I finish my calendar, so grab yours quick because all the pre-orders you will get a free print or free sticker of your choice. And I hope you like this month. Sending so much love to anyone who has ever been bullied. You are loved. This is how I made this piece of artwork for my 2024 calendar. Caring for my dad with Alzheimer's. I learned some really hard lessons about the importance of rest. My history with my relationship with rest has been I never felt good enough to rest. I didn't feel like I had done enough to be worthy of some rest. I want to let you know you don't have to do anything. You don't have to have some sort of medal or gold star or to achieve anything to be worthy of rest. Anyone and all of us all of us are worthy of rest to do any work. If we do not rest, we cannot go on. Even if that is just lying back on the sofa with your feet up for just five minutes. I'm not very good at drawing rooms and I really wanted to practice doing that. because I wanted to do a piece of work that reminded us the importance of rest and green lime cowboy boots and a checkered vest top.
pre-orders will end very soon so grab yours quick every pre-order includes a free print or free sticker of your choice grab yours now before pre-orders end as i edit this vlog i am still working on my calendar i only have a few months left and i'm going to have them all finished before I go on holiday, but actually I spoke to my international customers and I've decided to extend the pre-order so I can still have it out for pre-order while I am on holiday. And so I will include the making of how I make the final months on my reels and TikTok if you want to see them like live as I make them. And yes, one more week from the upload of this video will be the last week of the pre-order of my calendar. It is my most popular product every year on my shop. And the international orders have missed their deadline if you wanted it for Christmas, just to let you know. But my international customers already said that it's a gift for themselves and they're happy for it to arrive um, possibly after Christmas. The deadline to order for Christmas delivery is the 15th of December. So um, the calendars will be sent out before then. So just to make sure you don't have much time if you are in the UK and you want the calendar to arrive before Christmas, um, so I just wanted to remind you all because, you know, time just goes so quickly nowadays. <laughs> well, it does for me. <laughs> and I forget, you know, we all, I, I don't know, this time of year is, I know, busy for everyone and goes quickly for everyone. So I just wanted to rem remind you and then let you know if you're international and you, you want to buy the calendar that um, what the timings were. And so, yes. I've decided to extend the pre-order, which is great because um, I can still promote it and um, do the little countdown thing on my Instagram while I'm on holiday. I knew I wanted with this calendar to sketch in my sketchbook first and I'm so happy I've stuck to that rule because even though it does take me longer, I think it's so worth it. And I think in this time where there's just such a massive level of like content that creatives are like forced to make essentially for the algorithm that making a decision with my creative work to take my time and make things harder for myself is not easy I want to just make work quickly and I think that's definitely how I worked in my early stages was just like make work quickly doesn't matter what it looks like whereas now I think I'm in this new girl era where I am really loving focusing on pushing myself I'm I'm really happy with my style basically is what I'm trying to say and I, I feel like my calendar last year could have been better and I'm so glad that I took the time and the effort because even though for me so basically I'm making all my illustrations for my calendar on illustrator and that's been a thing I've wanted to do with my style and I've mentioned it in other videos I used to create an illustrator and then I got the ipad I found it really hard anyway and creating an illustrator does take me longer but it's much easier to tweak the illustration and it's also much easier to kind of because it's a vector it's way easier to kind of go back to old illustrations like take a body shape tweak it and stuff like that whereas I couldn't really do that on the iPad I feel like everything is just a flat illustration what's so nice about illustrators that you can like select the lines and like tweak every minor little detail if you want and then also it's a vector so you can adjust it as you need to but I'm so happy with this calendar I feel like this is the best work I've ever made and these prints won't be available anywhere else they'll only be available in my calendar as I'm really focusing on less products less often but marketing them better so if you like any of the artwork in this calendar remember that you can also cut up the calendar I know some of my customers have done that once the year is over they'll get a guillotine or you know and just cut it up 
frame it and then be able to have 12 prints for such a cheap price that you won't be able to get anywhere else so that's a little ramble about my calendar obsessed with my calendar and already I need to remember for next year I need to start way earlier (laughs) and I also um I think maybe next year I'm thinking that it'd be really nice to focus on one theme but I still also feel like my style and my what I like to draw for my calendars do kind of represent an overall overall theme of like empowerment, feminism, like self-love, body neutrality and like friendship and joy. Um, So if you like any of these things, definitely have a look at my calendar. And um, yeah, I'm so excited. It's going to be ready very soon. One more week and then it will be ordered. Morning babies, you were never up so early. It'll only take me a few hours to finish it. But I'm working from an illustration I've already made. Um, so I think it's going to be good. I feel confident.
That is so good. Oh my god. 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 And I suppose you just expect me to go weak at the knees and fall into your arms and cry hysterically and say, what? And come on, Nick, what do you expect? To live happily ever after? <laughs> Hello. Always oh, gonna get involved. And Richie's here. Looks like. Chicken, fung, fungi chicken, free range butter chicken, portobello, and chestnut mushroom pie. Bye! <laughs> Smooth jackfruit steak, craft ale, and black pepper. This one I've had before, it's really good. Uh, plant based. This isn't a chicken and bacon pie with leek and wine. White wine. Not based. So excited for these. I'm going to be so Oh my pies. And again, stay back to <laughs> You want to see the pies? Are you ready? I'm ready. We have a hooper! Another big thing I've been working on has been updating my portfolio. It's taken so much time, but I realized I had so much work that I needed to add to my portfolio that I was really proud of. I've also been giving some portfolio workshops and I gave portfolio advice on my Patreon. And when I was saying one of the tips, which is put your best work in your portfolio, and also put the work that you want to be hired for in your portfolio, I realized I needed to do that for my own portfolio. I got rid of a lot of very old work and, and yeah, let me know what you think of this video. So sorry it's so long, but let me know if you like the longer format. And the Patreon printable is a November planner with a habit tracker. It's so cute, you guys. So definitely go check that one out. Sign up to my newsletter to stay up to date with all the new things. And I'll see you in the next one. Lots of love. Bye.